what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel my name is harrison and we are on the evening prior to getting 10 minutes of actual gameplay for zelda tears of the kingdom i wasn't 100 percent sure if we were actually going to get anything or if they were just going to keep it complete secret until the game launched um obviously marketing wants to get something something going um some sort of gameplay we're finally getting tomorrow just recorded my podcast that I do with my brother every week, Gaming with the Broscast. We talked for about eh, about 12 or 13 minutes about our predictions, our theories. Will we see the um, highly rumored Zelda Switch Special Edition? Will we see any other kind of goodies that coincide with the launch of Zelda? We talk about all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this clip. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And without further ado, let's roll the clip. All right. You want to dive into some news? Let's do it. You want to read the first right. one? Oh, boy. I mean, this is this is the big one. <laughs> it's the doozy. Got. It's not a direct. Not a direct. <laughs> not a direct. But it is 10 minutes of Tears of the Kingdom gameplay airing tomorrow, 10 a.m. EST, 7 a.m. PST on YouTube. 10 minutes. That's like 50,000 times more minutes than we've seen in the actual game so far. I, I feel you, like I feel like Nintendo's marketing department was like like gun to the head. <laughs> you need <laughs> to put something together for this game. There's a game coming out. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I mean, like it's cra like it's it's still crazy. So this is it. This is this is what we're getting. This is there's there's no you like think this is the only the only thing like, I think, think so. This is this is it. Uh, yeah, and there's no way we're getting like a 30 minute direct now. This 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 is okay. all we're getting. Okay. Okay. Um, now we we may get like some little tidbits, you know, a little overview trailer here and there, and maybe like, like a, a like final a, trailer, something like that, or maybe like a a 30 second clip of something, you know, whatever. As time gets closer to the game, um, which is almost a month away, which is freaking crazy <laughs> to think about. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I mean, I, I do want to see like some actual like gameplay instead That'd of instead nice. of trailers. Um, I mean, 10 minutes isn't a lot, but hey, I'm not, you know, it is what it is. I mean, 10 minutes is a lot when you put it in perspective of what we've seen so far and of what it's, we've seen it's more than like, what we've seen. <laughs> yeah. Like and of of those trailers, like how much of it was actual gameplay, you know? Yeah, right. A lot of it was seconds. just like sweeps of the landscape or just shots of Bacoblins or whatever have you but yeah i mean this this is going to be the 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 relatively deep dive i'm assuming we're gonna see a lot of the mechanics that make that make this game unique from yeah. breath of the wilds i mean this kind of has to be that that moment so I'm, I'm curious to to see what you think is going to be there what do you what do you think they're going to like show off the most i have no idea because i feel like They've been so secretive about everything, about the story. I mean, shoot, they were they they said that they didn't want to reveal the name of the game until closer to launch. Like, how is Tears of the Kingdom a spoiler for anything? Like, is it Tears? Really is it Tears? I mean, God, that was a big thing when that first launch, yeah. when that first that trailer came out. Um, Either way, I'm at a loss. <laughs> is, is it the Tears of Hyrule? Is it the Tears of... Tears of Zelda. Skyloft? Is it Zelda's Tears? Is it Link's Tears? Whose Tears is it? <laughs> and how many are there? Hmm. Um, I don't know, man. I I think maybe they'll show up like maybe the crafting stuff a little bit. Yeah, that, crafting... I, that doesn't seem like it's too story related. Like I, you know, I would like to see maybe the the mechanic of going through the 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 walls or like the oh going up through the ground. Yeah, but that that may just be too story related for them I mean, to share off but off, i don't know they, it, they could just show like a, it with out of context yeah. you know they don't have to show how he got it they could just say hey you know you acquire ability it's a, you acquire abilities in zelda games it's like it's like the sheikah slate abilities right mm -hmm. yeah they show that off and, and granted there's not a lot of context to that to begin with but it's it's like the same thing of just showing off link's new arsenal of abilities like yeah just like how they'd show off new weapons or you know, any, anything like that. Like, I, I think that would that that would be fair game. Or maybe they give us like a couple minutes of like a dungeon, like an actual dungeon and, mm -hmm. and like, like, oh, yeah, I, you know, item related. There's 
item related things and, and dungeons now that help you progress in said dungeon um, and in the outside world, you know, something like that, just to yeah. confirm that stuff. But yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think I think vehicle I no building. Idea. I think the, they'll show weapon crafting. Yeah, yeah. And the, the easy stuff, really. Yeah, the easy stuff, and and just like <laughs> easier ways to 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 maneuver around the world, whether that be through vehicles or through new abilities that that Link gets. Like I, you know, I'd love to see some some type of like alternate to Link's like normal jump of like maybe. Like a double jump, like something something akin to like a double jump or or something like that, where you can unlock like a new skill, almost like unlocking a new skill for Link. I think that'd be really cool. And, and, you know, that's that's a wish list at this point. But and that's kind of like Twilight Princess. Like they had all the different kind of um, you know, it's four or five, you know, abilities you could do with your sword. Yeah, yeah. Like, that you learn like that could be really cool. But yeah, ooh, a double jump. Oof. Like I was, I don't know. I was thinking of of the two D games and like getting getting the. The rocks, the rocks, feather. the rocks, feather. Oh, that's so good, dude. Yeah. Or like using the hook shot or being able to use the hook shot. It kind of like kind of like Spider-Man a little bit. Being yeah. able to fling yourself around because you're going to be so airborne in the game. And it, it seems like there's not going to be a lot of repercussions for falling. So like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you push that forward by like, hey, like, let, let hear me, me out. Just like swing hear me out. You can craft your own set of ODM gear. And you could just fly around like attack on Titan. <laughs> there you go. No, but like I, I have heard rumors of hookshot. Um, but I want it to be like Master Chief's grapple hook. Like that thing was that thing yeah. is the best hookshot grapple hook, whatever, in, in gaming. Yes. Um you could just hook onto anything. There's no not not like Twilight Princess where you have to hook onto a um like a like a little cross thing. Yeah, oh, that's like that's like any Zelda game. Like, there's either like yeah. a bullseye, or you could do a like bullseye, or wood yeah. or chest or something. You could usually hook shot too. Um, that could be a huge game changer. Like a really really cool grapple hook or hook shot. Um, that could be awesome. Yeah, because like, you know, Breath of the Wild was all about climbing, and that was kind of like one of the fun parts of that game. I feel like this game is is more about traversal. Yeah, and how can you get from A to B, in in as most of a fun way as possible. And I think I think that would, you know. It, it wouldn't negate climbing altogether. Yeah. But it would kind of streamline it a little bit. I yeah, because we, we did that. We already did it in Breath of the Wild. We, we put hundreds of hours into climbing. Yeah. You know, I, there, I don't think it we makes it. much sense to make us do it again. Like, make it, I don't know, make it make it more fun. Make it even, you know, especially since mm -hmm. we're going to be in the air, you know? Yeah, so th there's a lot they could do. I mean, it seems like they're they're really focusing on on player creativity and player freedom yeah and of course like that's where all the crafting stuff comes in and, and that's going to be really cool as well like i feel like people are gonna be able to spend way more time in this game than they did in breath of the wild and that's that's saying something considering yeah. like, how much time people spent in that game yeah do you think they mention anything about a collector's edition the switch yeah amiibo i think, I think they show off the the new the, the new switch the, model the new or the switch or the whatever whatever the special, special edition. edition model yeah the one that people keep watching on our tiktok dude i'm it's crazy like there's even like a, like a bunch of spanish comments which is very random but no they're wrong with it but i just i mean i don't really understand yeah, yeah, yeah. it um well you, I, but, there actually is an option where you can like translate it which is pretty cool in tiktok but um that yeah that's been super random but yeah like, people just keep watching it and they're like is this real i'm like <laughs> I'd stop I answering <laughs> like y'all yeah. Google it, man. Uh, yeah, figure it out. yeah, I, I, yeah uh, I think I think you're right. I think we'll get something. Yeah. Um, it's now or never at this point. We're, you know, less than a month of, or probably a month and a half away. Yeah. You know, maybe they'll open up like wave two of like the, the collector's edition pre-orders. I, I think they're going to do more like mm -hmm. it makes it doesn't make more. It makes sense. It doesn't make sense not to like people. People want them like crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. um. I don't know. So, all right, Excited, I got man. a question for you. Yeah. How do you think it's going to start and how do you think it's going to end? In terms of the, pre the the presentation tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you were talking about the whole Not story the of the game. I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh god, love. Give me a second. Um I don't know. I think I think um is it is it a new 
Is that is that how you pronounce how do you pronounce Agnuma. his name? Agnuma. Um, I think he's gonna come on. He's gonna he's gonna have the just the white backdrop. He's gonna be like, hey guys, it's been a while. Here you go. This is what we've been working on for six years, and it's gonna open up to something ridiculous. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe Link falling. I don't know if they would have ruined that experience, like falling out of the sky for the first time. Um, not ruined, but show off that experience. Um, I don't know, man. I know. All right. You give me because you've been thinking about this. <laughs> I think it's going to start in the sky. OK. And it's not going to be the beginning of the game. It's going to be somewhere somewhere like early on, but it's not going to show any of the beginning sequences. Yeah. And, and you know, he's going to. Yeah, you know, play around there, show all the different islands. So like, oh, you can see that place, you can go to it. That's an island. And I think it's going to end with him coming across. He's, he's going to be on the ground, and he's going to become come across a structure, and it's going to start taking you underground. Okay. And you're going to start, you're going to see, like, the vastness yeah. of the underground area, and then he's going to cut it. Okay. That's how it's going to end. Because they haven't they haven't said anything about the underground. No, but area. but they're but they're you've seen it like in the the latest trailer. It. We just yeah. don't know the, how big it's going to be. Right? Like, is it going to be something that, like I hate I hate to put, to mention Elden Ring because I swear Elden we Ring, we do Elden it. Ring, but Elden Ring. The, the 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 subterranean area is Elden Ring. Like you didn't realize how when you first went down in the elevator, you're like, okay, this is going to be like a really small dungeon. That's a big cave. And then you, you go through the area, like, oh, this is, okay, this is a pretty big area. And then it, you, and you're like, oh my God, this is, this is massive. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean that, that, like, that's what's crazy about this game. It's like sky, like you've got everything. This game's going to be crazy. And I, you know, maybe they took inspiration from Elden Ring. Maybe that's what made them delay the game. They're like, shit, dude. Yeah, this thing, see that this underground thing, area? This thing is awesome. That's pretty cool, man. We gotta do that. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I like. I'm, I'm excited for it, but I could, I could feel just the hypeness. You know, it's, it's starting to, it's starting to get up there. Uh, especially yeah. now that we got confirmation that we're actually seeing something. Like I was convinced that we weren't going to see nothing until, until it launched. Like I knew we'd get like a little bit of the trailer here and there, but not like a presentation not, not style that. thing. Yeah. I don't know. Like <sighs> I, story wise, I don't, I don't know what to expect. Like. The story in Zelda, like it never has been super. I, mean, I know there's a lot of lore, but in terms it's of never like been extremely compelling. Yeah. Like as far as like the story that's told in the game. Um, do, do you think we see like any time travel things? Do we see another Link, another Zelda? Do they... <sighs> and like any multiverse stuff? Do we? Well, it's, it's on a timeline. So like it's the same timeline. Just, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of people are theorizing that this is the end of the timeline for and, Zelda, uh, the the end of Sky like the Richards. cycle with with Ganondorf, because it's all the same Ganondorf. Like it's, it's sealed, but it's it's Link. That's the new protagonist every single time. It's always been the same Ganondorf over and over again, because he always gets trapped. Yeah. That that's the that's the curse that um uh I can't remember the, the antagonist from Skyward Sword, but um that person oh. put a curse on on link G- gear gyrium Gir- something like that yeah I, I i do think you could be right because i i believe at the end of uh tears of the kingdom you're gonna see that you're basically creating skyloft with the floating islands what do you think it's gonna like circle back on itself yeah i think it's gonna I, yeah i think it's gonna circle back i think What's happening here is the creation of Skyloft. Okay. And that's why that's why in Skyward Sword no one wanted to return to the surface. Yeah. Because it had been so long at that point. And everyone just thought it was still overrun by by an evil force. But 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 Skyward Sword was the beginning of the timeline. So you think I think it I think it, it loops. See, it's just well, I guess that could be like the um the Ouroboros kind of symbol they got going on. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and that's, yeah. And Nick, you might be onto something there. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to see. We'll have to, to see. Every end, there is a beginning. There is, yeah. <laughs> um. See that it's coming tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, can't can't wait for that. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll let YouTube algorithm pick one of my videos below for you guys to watch. 
give it a give it a click and I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video.